What's good, y'all? John D. Saunders here. I hope all is well. In today's video, I'm breaking down my top 10 favorite Webflow tools. Let's go. So as you all know, I've been a web design agency owner for about seven years, creating websites like this, this, and this. And so what I want to do is show you how we transitioned to Webflow, a website and CMS builder about three years ago, and the tools that we use to add both functionality and tenacity to our projects. Now, let me dive in. I'm going to give you this checklist. Keep in mind, you can download that link right below this video. It's a Google Doc, so there's no opt-in. I just want to provide as much value as I can. Also, please like and subscribe. The more folks that see this content, the better, and the more we can create more amazing, dynamic website entities. So let me dive into my computer, show you how these tools function and work, and you'll be able to download that checklist at any time. Lego. So first one is Airtable, and a lot of Webflow users leverage Airtable for their databases and for content management in regards to people filling out forms on the site and that form data being saved on a platform like Airtable where you can control that database. So that's one thing that I really love about it. We actually have a website called illustratorhub.com, and this website uses Airtable to the T. <clears throat> we actually collect form inquiries through the Get Hired link, once they fill out this link, it automatically pushes to Airtable and we set up an automation via Zapier so that, that pushes to this database here where you're able to browse all the newest illustrators after our quick and easy vetting process. So Airtable is definitely one of my favorite tools. You can leverage it for your forms, for different things you have on your website to be able to collect that user data in the uh, in your docs. So if you look here, Airtable, it's a platform for building collaborative applications integrates with all your favorite apps and services, and you can basically visualize your progress and content. Next up is a new tool that we've been using lately called conversion.ai. Now this tool is really dope because it leverages AI to write proven high converting copy to increase com conversions on your website. And the copy is actually on point and a lot better than I expected. I really like conversion AI in relation to competitors just because of its ease of use and the user interface is just beautiful. I'll show you an example of the back end. And the main reason we use this is for projects in low fidelity and high fidelity design. Now, this might not be the end all be all content for your site, but ultimately it's gonna be a great way to showcase what your sites could potentially look like with real content. So you can see here that they have a ton, they have a ton of templates from email to website to blog to video to SEO. It can help you write SEO title and meta descriptions based on data that you provide. And this tool is really, really easy to use. I love it. We've been using it for about a month, created some SOPs around it and found it to make our lives a bit easier. And to give you an example of what I mean, if I go into Figma, this is where we have all of our, our files housed and I go into uh, one of our systems, for example, I'll just give you an example website that we're, uh, that we're working on here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let me go through here. Let me go here, move my big old head. Here we go. All right, so if I go here, for example, and I pull up a doc like this, we're able to, when we're creating these wireframes, we're able to pull information and put the copy in here. So we have real life copy instead of lorem ipsum text. And that's the biggest thing that conversion AI does. You give it a little bit of information. For example, if we're gonna do titles and meta descriptions, let's say the company name is HubSpot. Let's say, um, the biggest names in digital marketing. Um, learn the basics of marketing. Oops, can't spell it today. And then I can use the keywords as digital marketing, just for as an example. I hit generate AI content. Within seconds, it's gonna output data based on an internet scrape and data that it finds and be able to give me example title and meta descriptions that I can use on my website. So here you go, title, the biggest names in digital marketing, HubSpot. So as you can see, it adds that pipe and it adds the name, which is great for, for SEO architecture. Meta description is find out what digital marketing is today, the tactics involved, the types of content you can create, and the purpose digital marketing serves to your overall marketing strategy. I mean, how awesome is that? 
Really great tool. It is a paid tool. I think we're paying about 30 or 40 bucks a month for it. But again, really, really helpful in regards to those tools. So next up, we've got a CMS library for Webflow. Now, as you all know, if you're using Webflow, the guys or the team over at FinSuite just create some phenomenal products for us. This is one in particular that we use on websites. It's a JavaScript library that makes your Webflow CMS a lot more powerful. So as we know, Webflow CMS is already super powerful. But what this can do is that it can add pagination. It can add all these additional attributes to your website easily with just a piece of JavaScript code that you add to the site. You don't have to learn how to write code. You don't know how to do code. All you do is really take the snippets, add them to the header on your site, and you're ready to go. I suggest anyone that's looking to do some really great stuff with Webflow to definitely check out the CMS library. Next up on our list, we have Flowbase. Now, Flowbase, again, is another amazing, amazing resource from, from the folks over at Flowbase. It does a phenomenal job. And Tom, shout out to you, man. Tom Becker is, is an awesome guy. He's uh, one of the founders there. But they have all these different products that you can use for your Webflow website. So if you're just starting out, um, they have a ton of really cool templates and resources that you can use. They're really affordable. Some of these are like 20, 30 bucks. A lot of them are free. And he's created a cool organized database here of just really great websites that you can leverage. So if I pick portfolio page, I can click this. I can preview the project, right? This is a really cool project, really dynamic, especially this video um, attribute here. Just awesome stuff, man. I mean, people are creating these phenomenal sites and giving away this stuff for free. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane. But I can preview the project. I can clone it. Um, he has resources like different navigations, accordions you can add to your site. You can literally piece your site together from all these resources at Flowbase without even touching one line of code. It's insane, y'all. even has premium components you can buy. I purchased a few of these. I have Quillo. I have a, a few of his forms as well. He has a multi-level form. I mean, guys, there are tons of resources on this platform. Please Take a few to check it out if you're just getting into Webflow or if you built a Webflow business and you want to be able to add additional attributes and tools to that platform. Next up, we've got Horizontal Scroll. This I thought was awesome. This is from the homie T. Ricks. You probably know him if you're in the Webflow ecosystem. He has just a ton of really awesome resources. This in particular I thought was dope because it allows um, a horizontal scroll on your site, which you can easily duplicate using this tool. Also, you should also check out his other content. If you just click his profile on Webflow, I mean, it's got tons of clonables here that you can be able to use and leverage in your projects. Just does an awesome job. Thank you, Timothy, man, for all that you do for our community. It's just some dope stuff, man. Next up, we've got JetBoost. Now, JetBoost is really great because you can add real-time search and dynamic filtering to your Webflow website without any code. We leverage this on a few of our sites, one of those including Illustrator Hub as well, and it just adds a real-time search with paginated lists as well. So this is great for job sites, um, different sites that need applications, recipes, product organization. I mean, it's a really, really great tool, and, and get this, it's like, it's insane how affordable it is. It's not 29 bucks a month, or 19 bucks a month if you need a little bit less uh, options, and again, the folks that are creating these, pro these these programs and software are just doing a phenomenal job of making this these products tight, concise, and not bloating and, and adding baggage to your website. So again, JetBoost is another tool. Definitely check it out. Next up, MemberStack. I can't say enough great things about this platform. You can essentially add paywalls. You can add private content on your Webflow site by easily integrating this into the system. When I say it's easy, you can literally implement this in five minutes. You basically set up your website, you set up pages that only specific users can use, you combine it with member stack, and now you have a login and admin panel that's really dope. What you can also do is you can customize your dashboard however you want in Webflow, and you can give folks access to member stack. Again, this is a paid service as well, but um, super affordable for clients looking to add a membership portal to your website. Again, check out MemberStack. Really, really great tool. Um, I can actually show you guys in real time, right? Let's just jump in. Why not? Why not, right? <laughs> so uh, I'll go into a project that we're working on that we're in process with um, that's in development. Just pop that open for you right quick and show you how we leverage MemberStack for this. So if you go to this site, and again, this is still a work in progress, so bear with me. Um, if we go here, I can hit sign up, I can hit login, 
and it'll give me my login. It'll add that add-on as well. So MemberStack actually does all this for you. Of course, you can add in your logo, add in your color palette to make sure it's consistent with your site design. But again, they add all these different attributes for you. And so when you're logged into the site, you'll actually have access to this dashboard we built in Webflow. So if I go here and I go to dashboard and I go to student dashboard, here's the dashboard that, that users have access to once they're logged in. As you can see all this content here, they can click courses, they can scroll down and they can go to the curriculum. And all of this is in the portal. So you can only access this side of the site if you have a login and that's implemented through MemberStack. Again, another great tool that adds superpowers to Webflow. Here's the next tool I want to talk about, Optily, which I think is really awesome. With Optily, you can take your Webflow images and compress them automatically. Now, in most cases, what we'll do is we'll have a image file. We'll take that image file and we'll run it through a platform like TinyPNG to compress it, make it smaller so that the light website loads faster. Now, what this will do is this will take all of your images, provide an 80% JPEG and PNG data reduction, and upload those images back onto your website. This can prove your SEO, your time on site, as well as the low time on your website. This tool is a uh, phenomenal. It's it's still it's still kind of like a best kept secret. But if you're building out websites on a normal basis, definitely check out Optily and run your websites through this platform to make sure that you're compressing your images and making sure that your site loads perfectly. Next up, we've got Typeform. I can't say enough great things about it. It just makes it really easy to create beautiful forms on your site. So if you go to our agency site, for example, you can get started. This is an actual Typeform. As you can see, the, the process is simple. It really looks great on, on mobile as well and it just runs you through this process. Now, what we've done is we've combined this with Zapier to make sure that all our leads go into our CRM and Slack and all that good stuff, but Typeform just makes it easy to have beautiful forms on your site that you can that you can impress your clients with and it just makes it a really clean and concise look and layout. Lastly, and I can't say enough great things about the team at Weglot, if you wanna add multi-language uh, power to your website, definitely check out Weglot. We've used them three or four times on a few websites and man, they make the process so simple. Also, their support is phenomenal. I literally sent an email and got a response back with a code snippet to add to my site to make these custom, really cool layout for English translation websites. It just does a really phenomenal job, great support, and the tool you can set up in about 10 minutes based on however many languages you need embedded on your website. So with that said, y'all, again, you can access this super duper awesome tech stack doc. <laughs> the, it's down below in the description. No opt-in. Just go grab it and, uh, and, get some fun, and have some fun with it. But this is my, my favorite stack of, um, of Webflow apps that help both increase the scope of your projects and just help you flow better. Thank you all for checking out this video. Again, I do this every week. You can drop and see my newest content. Make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all next week. Peace.